Maningning had a very exceptional life. She, she was born and lived in China for 15 years during the height of the martial law years when her parents were exiled in China. She was an unusual product of the times. She captured that in her poetry and in her painting. Nang dumating siya, di panahon ng EDSA, may martial law pero yun nga, parang napaka-political ng pagtula nun at pagsulat sa pangkalahatan. Pero pagdating ni Maningning, iba yung tula niya. Tahimik, no? mas imagistic. Maraming hindi kasing uh, tataba o sabi nga nila masculine ng mga rima, ng mga makatang political. Pero kumbaga yung, yung kanya ay bagong uh, simoy ng hangin sa panalaan na dumating sa... Na-excited ako nung nakita ko siyang, nakasabay ko siyang mag mag-take ng exam sa UP. Magkatabi pa kami. So parang may destiny talaga na magiging very good friends kami dahil na-assign pa kaming magkatabi doon sa exam. 1992, as he was the winner sa uh, non-objective art, medyo abstract. Very significant, I think, para sa kanya because uh, yun ang kanyang unang, uh, let's say, punta sa visual art and nanalo agad siya ng first prize. No? From then on, medyo malimit kayo magkita. We became very close. So I could tell her some pointers. I can tell her some things to do. Matagal yung aming samahan. Ma Manini is kind of a intense artist, I would say. I like the sincerity of what she has done and of what she has been doing if I look back. And uh, that's one of the qualities I admire in her pieces, actually. Ang gaganda ng mga malalaki niyang obra, uh, very striking, and uh, parang sarap mag... Pag tinitingnan mo, matagal mo dapat tingnan. Ang dami, kong, ang dami mong may experience na nararamdaman mo pag tinitingnan mo yung paintings niya kasi parang may musika, parang may tula. Maningning's works are um, soulful and um, intense and deep. I love her works better in her Filipino works because it, it's not her first language. And it's very um, amazing how she can write in three languages. Her literature and poetry, talagang, I really admire her for being able to put into words very simple, very precise words, but evoking the emotions and the feelings. No? Very expressive no? of human feelings. Very, very human yung mga writings niya. So it was there that I really got to know her. She left a body of work in painting, and then at the same time, uh, nagsulat din siya ng book of poetry in three languages, English, Chinese, and of course, Filipino. How do we perpetuate the memory of someone you love? How do you preserve the memory and make sense out of their very young but creative and very meaningful lives? By our own uh, passion and determination, we thought we just want to remember her and, and show how she, at a very young age, used her talents. It was actually a decision of uh, many friends to convince us to, to form the foundation. Along with uh, Alma and Mario, we founded the uh, Maningning Miklat Art Foundation. Personally, my dream was to allow young, budding Filipino artists to be able to appreciate the art of someone who not only practiced the art but excelled in it. The mission of the foundation is to help the young artists. And as Maning Ning is a young artist, she was involved into so many genre of art. And so they have established the art competition and also the poetry competition. The uniqueness of the foundation is that we are focusing on young people below 28. I think it's really uh, good to reach out to young artists, no? to motivate the young artists to encourage them to do art. So, nung nanalo ako, uh, yung half ng pera, ginamit ko sa thesis ko. So, syempre, kailangan-kailangan ko yun dahil sa, para sa thesis. And then, yung half naman, binigay ko sa parents ko. And then, doon nag-start na sabi ko, 
Parang pwede rin pala akong uh, magkaroon ng career sa visual arts. So doon nag-start na magdire-diretso yung, yung path ko sa visual arts. Ang pakahalaga kapa, sa, sa kabataan mano na katulad ko noong panahon na yun na mabigyan ng affirmation, mabigyan ng, ng sense na worthwhile yung tinatahak mong landas para magpatuloy ka. Hindi tawag nilang positive loops. Pinagsisikapan mo, may nagsasabi na worthwhile yung pagsisikap mo and therefore lalo ka nagsisikap, lalo mong pinipilit gumaling dun sa craft mo. Malaki na ibigay nun and it opened some avenues for me to to pursue writing professionally. Nagugulat ako na yung ang ate ko, tapos yung mismong foundation, sobrang talagang mas malaki na kaysa sa amin. Marami na siyang na-inspire na ibang tao. Marami nang naglulook forward na sa mga kaganapan na mangyayari dito. At nakakatuwa yun. It's, it's very humbling. We hope na mabuhay siya beyond us para i-uplift yung mga batang artist para para makita nila may kinabukasan sila. The arts knows no age. Nakikita ko na yung more immersed, like we will be conducting workshops in poetry and painting for young people. Iba yung kabataan, mas organisadong kumilos sa pagpapatakbo ng board na pampansin ko ngayon. Mas, mas organisado sila. Umuunlad ang foundation at the same time, nagiging mas professional. Pagkatapos yun namang mga sumasama, sumasali ay talagang din napakaganda ng kanilang mga trabaho. At tiyak ko, pero hindi ko alam ang detalye kung ano mangyayari, nauunlad pa ito at mas magiging malakas. I'm, I'm so uh, amazed and uh, happy that it's been 18 years na pala, no? And, and uh, to my mind, it's uh, one of the more encouraging art contests that has been happening in, uh, in the Philippine arts scenario. Pagpupugay din sa mga magulang, Yeah, sila ang kumbaga uh, sabi nga nagpapaypay <laughs> para manatiling buhay ang apoy ng alaala ni Maningning. Kasi kung hindi naman ganoon kaalab yung pagsusumikin ng kanyang mga magulang uh, sa kanyang mga nasimulan, naudot nga lang o naun semi eh siguro matagal nang wala no. Uh, ganun na lamang yung kanyang uh, Alaala, pero hindi yun ang nangyayari. It's not actually only the money, no? Kasi uh, yung prestige, yung pagpanalo mo kay Maningning, is something like you winning something uh, from an artist who really did her best. Well, actually, natutuwa ako at pinagpatuloy ng uh, pamilya niya. At mayroon sila ng uh, some sort of a foundation to continue Maningning's uh, legacy. Importante sa tao kasi ang legacy. What one thing is not is not just to ano to remember her, but to read what she has written, to look to look at what she has drawn, you know, and and from there from there uh, know what a young sensitive um, artist can leave behind. Because it, it is worth re re remembering that here was one young person who did something excellent. I hope that young artists will fulfill themselves by using their lives to produce more things of beauty for which they will be remembered. Mm -hmm para sa pagbubukas ng pagkakataon sa mga matalinong kabataan, manunulat ng artist. Yun lamang pangyayari iyon ay isa ng mahalagang bagay para sa pagpapautlad ng saving at panitikan ng ating bayan. We would like to thank very much those who've been supporting the Maningning Miklat Art Foundation all these years, from day one of the foundation up to now, no? We have artists, judges, we have poet judges who have been supporting us all these years. There are so many, there are so many to name them here, but they know who they are, and we are very thankful to them. We are also thankful to all the, uh, the supporters, the sponsors, the donors, who have been giving us, uh, you know, funds 
uh, to, to keep the foundation going. And uh, we would like to thank the young people, the young artists, and the young poets who are encouraged no, to join us. And uh, we are also blessed that the blessing they get no, from winning the awards help them to, to, to further their art and to further their poetry.